everyone. That was my Vogue right there. Anyway, as you can see, I am having a crazy hair day. Uh, it's whatever. Today is my nerve block, my newest form of a nerve block. So we saw my pain management doctor and I told him that the last procedure I was in a lot of pain. They didn't, you know, wait. I don't know. They're, he told me they will do a lot better this time and possibly even give me more medication to knock me out. But we came up with a game plan. With my previous nerve blocks, I did a splank nick. I can't say it's splank nick, whatever. Uh, I did a splank nick nerve block. <laughs> I can't, I, I, I hesitate. So with that nerve block, it only lasts up to like one to three months. That's it. This year I've gotten a couple nerve blocks. <laughs> and he has decided to do a different form of a nerve block. It's kind of the same, but they put alcohol on my back. And he told me that he has another patient who has really bad pains as well. After doing this nerve block, all the pain went away. This nerve block only lasts up to one to two years. What? That's still amazing anyway. And he even said sometimes the pain doesn't even come back. So let's try it. I'm a little excited because I want my pain to go away. Okay. A lot of people think whenever I say I'm excited, I'm excited for the procedure. I'm excited for, I don't know, to be sick. No, I'm excited for this pain to go away and I hope it works. See, the nerve block is a miracle pill, aka a miracle shot. <laughs> I make myself giggle. My appointment's not till a little bit later this day, but I'm all ready. I'm fresh, I'm washed, and I'm delicious. That, that didn't come out right. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to relax, take it easy, until it is time to go for my nerve block. So we are here, stuck in traffic, and I'm pretty tired, but I don't care because my hair here is just still crazy. I'm still having that bad hair. What did you just do? <laughs> that he was like, yeah, her hair is ugly. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Huh? You're, you're beautiful, babe. Love you. Oh, you're beautiful. So let's get in this office and get stabbed twice. Yeah. Why, hello, everybody. I can't walk straight. I don't know people think I'm drunk. We are off about to go to the doctor's office and get this situation. I'm not very happy, I'm nervous, like I said, the last procedure didn't go so well. I felt everything. But he's been super nice and he says he's gonna make sure that I'm gonna do a lot better with the pain. Give me a little bit more of a cocktail, narcotic cocktail. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> hey guys, be prepared for the next clip. It is a little dramatic i'm yelling i'm a little loopy and cursing my mind off so if you want to skip over skip to this time that's below well i am pissed once again the surgery just happened or once again this procedure just happened and they didn't care they i felt everything once again and i told them multiple times stop 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 did not stop if a girl says stop, what's the problem with fucking stopping? And at one point, don't move the needles in your back. Fucking take it out and stop this stupid procedure because no one really cares about me and my pain and what's going on in my body. So me and Paul have decided to just go back to the other pain management doctor who's really far away. We'll just get a hotel and there you go. Worth it. It's like, I'm... It's just me against everybody in that office. No one cares, no one's listening, and I'm pissed. And now we're here at my favorite restaurant, and I told Paul, I don't give a flying fuck. I'm getting what I wanna eat, cause I didn't get no one defending me, no one helping me at all, and I have to do this all by myself, feel this pain by myself. No, not acceptable. I'm mad, I'm irritated. They said they were gonna change things, help me out, make me relax a lot better, nothing, and I'm upset we told them we're done and i told them we're done we're not coming back i'm yelling this out not coming back we're done you guys are doing horrible unacceptable screw that so now we're getting me my favorite sushi that i fucking deserved going home and trying to relax without screaming even more 
Well, I am very sorry that you had to go through all of this, not once but twice. And I'm sorry that you're in pain. Just know that I love you. I'm here to take care of you and everything is gonna be fine. I know, don't know when you will find this message, but I hope you will find it soon. I love you with all my heart. You're my beautiful chichos and I'm here for you. Hey guys, so as you guys, <laughs> she did that poorly timed, but I'll oh. take it, I'll take it. <laughs> so I'm sorry for the previous clip. Um, I was pretty upset, hardcore upset. And then we both rewatched it right now and we're laughing. Yeah, I'm rewatching and I'm debating if I'm gonna put it in. Probably will, so don't get offended. I was a little loopy. Hi. Mad, but everything I said was true. She was mad. But, ugh, it was. I'm mean, like, I look like an angel in this lighting. The light. Oh, well, if we turn it off. Well. If we turn it off, exactly what I just said. Okay. That <laughs> did not work. There you go. But I, when Paul was in that restaurant, I did call, I called my dad to vent. He was just like, he heard my voice and he's like, not dealing with this. I called my mom, but her phone died. So I was like, who else can I call? That was your third choice? After my parents who gave birth to me. Like, gosh dang. Well, did man. I come out of your vagina? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, so then I was like, let me call Jackie. Dad's vagina Shut and you called him well, first. He has sperm. <laughs> oh my God. Can we not talk about this? <laughs> anyway, if you guys have questions about parents' reproduction, ask your parents. When a mommy and daddy love each other us. very much. Where's your puppets? <laughs> Okay, I can't laugh. So then I called Jackie, and I am like in tears, crying, like yeah, yelling. I answered the phone. Paul texted me saying Janice is pissed because she was awake the whole time. So I answered the phone. I was like, I was kind of like, "Hi, I heard you were awake." And I heard how upset she was. I was like, "Oh, let's yeah. change my tone." Yeah, but she was amazing because then she just came over without me or Paul knowing. And I'm here, knocked out on the bed. I see my mom first, and I was like, what does she want? I'm just mad at everybody. And I see Jackie right there, and I'm like, I didn't have my glasses on. I really have bad vision. I was she like, looked like Maybe. she was about to strangle me. Shut up. She was like... No, I was like, am I hallucinating this? She kept coming closer. Was... I'm like, how close I didn't, is she I touched her. to me? I think I touched her face like, is that really you? Oh... So it was a really great so surprise. I, she brought me flowers. I, I love them. Oh, they're downstairs. Yeah, brought, Even though I she hates them. Lilies. She hates flowers, but I yeah. love them. It smells delicious. So yeah, I heard Janice on the phone because when Paul texted me, it sounded, I don't know. He made it sound more lighthearted than it was. I heard her voice <laughs> and I knew she was upset. And so I talked to her and she, my heart broke. She told me, she's like, I feel alone in this. And I, my heart broke when I heard that. And I was like, if I could, I would drive over right now. And Judd could hear her wailing Aww. on the phone. <laughs> you had me on speaker? No, but you oh, were loud. One. I, I thought it was. And then oh, Judd was like, do you want to go right now? And I covered the phone so Janice when he was like, would you really drive me there right now? He's like, yeah, I'm like, let's do this. Oh. We're going. And so I was like, I kind of, I rushed her off the phone and I said, I love you. And then I hung up and then we just drove over, which I was like, can I handle this? I'm going to handle this because I need to because Janice so needs me. And yeah. then we we usually just walk in the front door, but Jada was like, rude, no, we're coming here unannounced, and Paul might shoot you. I was like, okay, we're going to knock. That's what I was thinking. I was like, I think that was a good call. He probably was like, who the hell is I know, he's here? like, who is coming to our house at, like, 8 at night? He would have the gun. Oh, yeah. It's you guys. Never mind. I'm good. So um, we, and then I came up, and she was asleep. I was like, oh, crap, she's sleeping. You don't want to wake up sleeping, Janice, but she didn't I, I get pretty bad. <laughs> I'm not the nicest person, but yeah. I was mad at my mom. I was mad at Paul, because my mom loves Paul like a son, and she was just, like, defending him. I joke that Paul's her favorite son. It's the truth. <laughs> like, it really is. I remember me and all my siblings got together, and we had to break bad news to my mom. So we all looked at Paul. Go break those that news to her. Like we're like we're not doing this. She loves you, but I love that she's here. Even though I thought she was a hallucination, I touched her. I was like, Are you, are you here? real? Yeah. And I but went downstairs. I made the effort, even though I should be in bed for the next twenty four hours. Yeah. She didn't tell me that. She was like, I'm gonna get up. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. And then Paul's like, You're supposed to lay flat for twenty four hours. Like. Why did you get up? And I went to Jenna and I was like, thank you so much. But I'm just, 
I needed to come over. Seriously, I was so heartbroken, so mad about what happened. Like, if you're telling a doctor to stop, I don't know, it, the whole thing was just messed up and I could tell Janice felt really like angry and violated and upset and I've been in her position so I was like, no, I'm coming over. Cheer her up. But, uh, I'm happy she's here. I did feel so violated. Like, no one was listening to me. And, like, I didn't give the full story with Paul. I know how he is. He, we have a thing that if I'm mad, he's the calm one. If he's mad, I'm the calm one, which is very difficult for me to be calm sometimes. And he wasn't saying anything. He was just letting me speak, but I felt like he wasn't defending me. Like, hey, what, what happened? This is not acceptable. He, all he kept telling me, and you Hispanics out there know, he kept saying, relax, calm down. Calm down. That not made the situation thing. worse. I was like, and he said it to me in the hospital. I was a little loopy. I got to apologize to him, but I was just like, I don't give a F. Do not effing tell me to calm down. I have, oh, it was, I took it. I yelled at him. I yelled at everybody, the nurses, even the, there was a sweet nurse that, you know does take care of me when I go into the appointments and I was even yelling at her I was like nope I bet these people never want to see me again so guys I have to be here for 24 hours laying down take it easy but it's really hard to take it easy when thing number two is here and I just want to be silly um, first with her. I'm thing number one second of all no no I'm thing number one because I'm, I'm older number you're number two because you're smaller you're younger and you're uglier. I'm number one. Hey. Oh, I can't laugh. It hurts. <laughs> Why are you saying you're number one? I already assigned us our... I'm trying to think of a reason. You poop more than I do. That's number two. So, <laughs> you're number two. If so, then Judd is number two. <laughs> <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Anyway, guys, I need to rest. Take it easy. And I'm going to enjoy my time with Jack Jack. And Jan Jan. I hate when she calls me that. I hate when anybody calls me. <laughs> she can though. So guys, for now, adieu and goodbye.